Sto cercando, io non posso spingerli più di tanto. Can be nuclear. It has enormous other places to be besides making electricity. Besides making electricity. It's very, uh, the answer to that is very eclectic. Uh, each, each film dictates its own moods. Each film dictates its own moods. Uh, so I, it's a subjective uh, reaction at the time. For example, sometimes I used composers. I've always been very lucky in, my, in, in having uh, people like John Williams and uh, uh, Ennio Morricone and uh, Vangelis and other artists helped me. And at the same time, uh, I, on a film like uh, Natural Born Killers, we just used uh, needle drops. Uh, any song we wanted in the universe, we just picked and went after it. In those days, it, it was a little bit more affordable than it is now. Uh, the, uh, in the movie, for example, uh, Any Given Sunday, Maledetta, uh, I used several different composers. There was no one composer. Uh, Robbie Robertson was one. There were four different composers. So I, I was never, no laws, no rules. Don't want to be dictated to by one composer unless there's a reason. Uh, so I, I try to keep it as free as possible. That's my only answer I can. As to what I listen to, I, I'm corny. I like. I like traditional stuff, I like classical music, I like jazz, I like very much ethnic music, uh, whether it's Rasta uh, or uh, Calypso even. I love uh, the old Harry Belafonte, uh, Sinatra, the songs that are popular in the 30s and the 40s. It's very good stuff. The new stuff is very tough to get through because it's hard for me to understand the lyrics. Uh, you have to really listen and read, maybe read the lyrics to understand sometimes what's being said because uh, it's buried underneath a lot of noise. Uh, so it's harder for me. Uh, but some of them stick out very nicely. Some of them have used some. The knowledge that we need of these CIA agents that were around the case, the Cuban connection, the Cuban connection in the United States to the right wing. We don't have that information. Now, there's a lot of information still there, but those people are all dead. And uh, the cover-up, as I maintain, continues, and many people. And it's just impossible to accept the Warren Commission conclusions uh, as scientific, impossible. Uh, so, you know, the, that leaves it open. I thought our film is not as crazy as people think it is. It is exactly based on a lot of facts and a lot of witnesses who never get listened to, who are not admitted to the Warren Commission. Uh, believe me, we worked very hard and we published a, a book at the time uh, stating what we exactly did. We were not trying to hide anything. And uh, to this day, it's haunted me because I've been attacked regularly and it's hurt my career. It hurt my career, but uh, it was worth it. God damn it. <laughs> it was worth it because to this day, he's the best president we've had in the last 60 years because he was speaking about peace. 
When do we ever hear a president talk about peace anymore? I haven't heard the word. But that was a big, important theme for Kennedy, peace. He wanted detente with the Soviet Union, with Cuba. He did not want to go to Vietnam. All this has become clearer and clearer with time and history. So we have to be very careful. And of course, we're the scientists. And you know, the environmentalists may not always agree, but uh, nuclear energy is the safest and has always been. So uh, that's a fact. And, uh, I, I'll go to my grave. But I, mean, I, I don't need to have scientists will defend it. Uh, the JFK issue is a drama. It's a drama is different than a documentary. I needed to condense uh, six characters into one character or three characters into, into two. Or There's always reasons to, it has to be a drama that entertains at the same time, keeps the interest of people because otherwise it's a, it becomes a, an investigation that, uh, that becomes like a documentary. Now that can be done, but at two hours it's such, such a long story. And of course, there is no historical consensus on this unless you accept the Warren Commission. So it's really difficult to argue this case because the Warren Commission I consider to be a fiction. It was very badly researched, very badly. There was no real investigation done at the time because it was not in the interests of the United States. It was not in the interests of the United States to investigate that crime. You know why? Because it would lead to uh, revelations that would be very, very uh, sensitive at the time, and still are. Obviously, Mr. Biden closed the files again 60 years later. Why? Something is very sensitive there, very sensitive. Assassination Records Review Board with the JFK Records Act. They were empowered, these uh, academics were empowered to subpoena people and to bring together who they wanted uh, to talk about, what they wanted to talk about. And they existed uh, from 1994 to 98. It was created by, from, by the pressure from the film, from the people of the United States who wanted answers. Because at the end of the film, we ran a, a legend that said, uh, these files won't be opened until 2037 or something like that. 2037 was a long way away. People are fed up with government secrecy, and they want more transparency. There's a lot of top secret stuff here, a lot. And uh, unfortunately, we tried, and the, the, they delivered some very interesting conclusions. Very, not so much conclusions, information. And the media in the United States did not report it accurately. They did not report the, they did not make the, the links in the case. This is a very complicated case because it is real life. It is not a movie, it's real life. A person, two people were wounded. A lot of shots were fired. The wounds were very complicated. The whole thing is complicated. Frankly, it would take a Sherlock Holmes, uh, who doesn't exist as a fictional character, to solve this case. You need to put the pieces together. That takes time, it takes years. A fact from here, a fact from there, it all starts to make sense. And you have to read it, follow it, study it. This is what researchers do. I am not one of those researchers. I depend on the work of researchers. So uh, we hired uh, our own researcher, James D. Eugenio, who's quite extraordinary in his memory. And he put together several books now. And these people take it very seriously because it is a murder case and the autopsy, among other things. Russia, and we have no business being in that part of the world. We should butt out, but we're everywhere. The United States continues to interfere everywhere. Think about how many bases the United States has all around the world. Think about 800